Okay, so let's talk about a couple of the other user buttons that we discussed a little bit earlier. This will kind of speed up our workflow. So I'm gonna go back into song setup mode. And another one of these buttons, just to give you a visual reference here, is gonna be the duplicate pad here on pad number one. So once again, when I'm in song setup mode, pad number one is gonna be duplicate and that's gonna duplicate the track itself. So once I hit this pad, now we have a new track and it's actually linked to the Impact XT instrument. So let's hit play here. All right, so we have the entire kit that we just had a second ago. And once again, this is one of those MVP uh, atomic fuel kits that we talked about a little bit earlier. So let's go and do I'm gonna put that brass line in here as well too. So what I'm gonna do, I've got count in turned on, I've got my click turned on. So this means it's gonna give me four beats right before we actually start recording. So all I have to do now is hit the record button and we're gonna start recording live. Cool, so we have our brass part. Now if I wanted to quantize that, maybe I didn't play it exactly in time, I can hold down shift and the nudge button, which the secondary function is quantize. So when I hit this, it will actually move over a little bit and everything should be quantized now. And I'll open up the editor so you can kind of see the notes. Okay, so that's kind of the same thing over and over and over again. So let's kind of change it up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna close the editor by holding down shift and editor, if you remember from earlier. So now we can use the up or down buttons to select an individual event. But if I hold down shift, I can actually select multiple events. So now I've got the two tracks and the two events selected. So once again, go into song setup mode and there's a duplicate pad. So when I hit duplicate, now we've duplicated that section and we've got two bars. But what I want to do here is I want to keep the same uh, beat that we had earlier. So I'm going to duplicate that a couple more bars, but I want to be able to change the brass line a little bit. So we're going to go here. I'm going to duplicate that once. I'm going to go back into our editor. And now that I'm in the editor, I can use the left or right buttons to select uh, individual events. Or once again, if I hold down shift, I can select multiple events and I can use the up or down buttons to transpose them. Okay, so we've changed up the brass part. It's a little bit different now. So what I wanna do is select the entire range from the very beginning up to this point. So I can hold down shift and the left button. And then if you remember the shortcut from earlier, I can hold down shift and set loop. And that'll take our selection and make that the new looped area. So let's listen to this now. So that's it. Please check out our other videos. We'll see you again soon.